I had mentioned that Find A Way sent me on a journey. Um, it inspired me to do something about my circumstance. Well, my circumstance at age 12 was I was just going to play in the National Football League. Here's something I still find important, and anybody can use this and apply this. Like, if you're going down a, a path or you're going on a journey that you don't know a lot about, it's really wise to find somebody that's really good at it, had a lot of experience at it, you know, pick their brain, get some knowledge. Now, this happens in 1977 that I write this goal up, so there wasn't a lot of information. You had to go to the library. So um, I thought my favorite player is Walter Payton. And there's got to be something he said, done, or will do that might be able to help me. So I don't find anything at the library when I went to search, but I heard about this tape that he was putting out called Winning in Life. He's going to talk about a variety of things, charity works, family life, how he trained. Well, I'm 15, roughly, when I discover this tape. And I'm like, the only thing I cared about is how he trains. I heard so many things about Walter and what he did, how he trained, the uniqueness. I heard about these dirt hills he ran. So I buy the tape. And... I'm scrolling through things, trying to find what interests me as a kid, but I didn't know there was an interview process. So I stopped the tape, and right when I stop it, the first question the interviewer asks him, what makes you better than everybody else? I, if I had written the script, that's what I would have asked. And I don't just assume everybody knows who Walter Payton was. When this tape was done, it was the all-time leading rusher in the NFL. Pound for pound, he's the greatest player to ever play still to this day. Pound of Pound for pound, the greatest player to ever play. This was always said about him. He's not the biggest. He's not the strongest. He's not the fastest. He's just the best. Well, that's confusing at age 15 because you're like, man, everybody I play that's bigger, stronger, and faster is better than me. How can he be like that? So I'll go back to the question. The interview asked him, what makes you better than everybody else? He paused for a second, and he said something as profound as I've ever heard a human being say it. He said, I want it more than they do every day of the week. He said, you see, in the off season, when nobody runs around that dirt hill at 7 o'clock in the morning with me, I want it more than they do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. During the season, when there's not 65,000 fans sitting in the stands, cameras aren't rolling on the sideline, I want it more than they do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Then Sunday at 1 o'clock, when you come watch me, well, you better believe I want it more than they do. Well, as a young kid, I was like, holy cow. If you think about that, that is a mindset. That is a choice, and that is a habit. That is not some special genetic gift. That is not something that you go pick up at the store. That is something any human being can apply to whatever it is they want to apply it to. That's the magic in it. And it's not wanting it. Everybody will talk about the want part. The want part, that's easy. Who can do it every day? If you want to separate yourself from your competitor or you want to ultimately make strides in your life, make that commitment. Make a commitment of every day. No matter what your goal is or your challenge is or what you're trying to change, if you add into that recipe of that commitment of every day, powerful things happen. Incredible things happen. The key, and I say it over and over again because it's always lost, every day. Not when it works for you, not when it's convenient, every day. And that is a mindset, and that is a choice, and that is a pattern. Why was he the best, and he's not the biggest, strongest, and fastest? Because he wanted it every day.